In a country where over a billion people share deep brown eyes, the rare appearance of hazel eyes in China can feel almost magical. Golden green, amber, or olive-toned eyes seem unexpected, but they are not impossible. So how do they happen? Before we start, I'm on a road to get 1,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. In this video, we'll dive into the genetic roots of hazel eyes in Chinese populations. From ancient East Asian DNA to the effects of trade, migration and ethnic diversity. We'll explore how rare combinations of genes from Central Asia, the Silk Road and China's own ethnic minorities can lead to hazel eyes appearing where they're least expected. Hazel eyes are more than just a visual anomaly. They're a subtle sign of China's deep, complex genetic history. From northwest deserts to southern hill tribes, every region has a story to tell through its DNA. Let me know in the comments if you or someone in your family has hazel eyes and Chinese roots. I'd love to hear your story. Hazel eyes are one of the most fascinating and rare eye colors in the world. They usually appear as a mix of brown, green, amber or gold, often shifting in tone depending on the lighting. This dynamic color isn't caused by a single pigment, but by a balance of melanin in the iris and how light scatters through the eye's layers, a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering. Scientifically, hazel eyes fall in between brown and green. They result from moderate levels of melanin, more than green or blue eyes, but less than full brown. The combination of melanin distribution and the way light interacts with it creates that characteristic golden or olive tone. Hazel eyes are a polygenic trait, which means multiple genes interact to produce the final color. Genes like OCA2 and HERC2, important in melanin regulation, play key roles, but they don't work alone. Other genes influence how pigments settle, which is why hazel eyes tend to show up only in populations with mixed ancestry. Globally, hazel eyes are rare, appearing in only about 5-8% to 8 of people. In East Asian populations, including China, they're far less common. But they do appear, and when they do, they hint at unique ancestral mixtures dating back thousands of years. To understand how hazel eyes appear in China, we have to begin with the genetic foundation of ancient East Asian populations. For most of China's early history, especially during the Neolithic period, around 8,000 to 4,000 years ago, ancestry was dominated by what researchers call the East Asian genetic cluster. This group had highly conserved traits, including straight black hair, yellow-brown skin tones, and dark brown eyes. The genes responsible for darker pigmentation, such as higher melanin production in the iris and skin, were strongly selected in early agricultural societies of the Yellow River and Yangtze River basins. These included genes like OCA2, HERC2, SLC24A5, and SLC45A2, all tuned to produce the rich, deep brown eyes seen in the vast majority of Han Chinese today. But even in ancient times, China wasn't isolated. These groups, such as ancient North Eurasians and steppe pastoralists, carried variants for lighter eyes and skin. Though rare, their presence in the genetic record shows that low-frequency alleles for lighter pigmentation existed at the edges of early Chinese civilization. Over time, mixing between isolated frontier groups and inland agricultural populations allowed rare traits like hazel eyes to be preserved, especially in places where gene flow remained active across centuries. So while dark brown eyes were the dominant feature in ancient China, the genetic potential for hazel eyes has existed for thousands of years, waiting for the right combinations to emerge. China's history isn't just about dynasties and inventions, it's also a story of people on the move. One of the most important drivers of genetic diversity in China was the Silk Road, a vast network of trade routes that stretched from Xi'an to the Mediterranean, carrying not just silk and spices, but also languages, cultures and genes. Along the ancient Hexi Corridor and into regions like Xinjiang, Gansu and Qinghai, populations from Central Asia, the Middle East and South Asia came into contact with local Chinese communities. These travelers included Indo-Europeans, Persians, Sogdians and Turks, many of whom had lighter pigmentation traits, including green and hazel eyes. Some settled, intermarried and passed their genes down into local populations, especially among urban traders and frontier villages. In southwestern China, trade and migration brought contact with groups from India, Southeast Asia and Tibet. Genetic studies in provinces like Yunnan and Guangxi show traces of this diverse ancestry creating another potential layer where intermediate eye colors like hazel could emerge. 
These borderlands, where cultural and genetic mixing were constant, became some of the most likely regions in China for rare traits like hazel eyes to appear. Over generations, even a small amount of Central Asian or Indo-European ancestry could be enough to pass on the necessary genes. So, while hazel eyes remain rare, their presence along China's historical trade routes makes perfect sense. When people think of China, they often picture a single ethnicity. But the truth is, the country is home to 56 officially recognized ethnic groups, many of which have unique genetic histories. Some of the clearest examples of hazel eyes in China come from these ethnic minorities, particularly in Xinjiang, Inner Mongolia, Tibet and southwestern border regions. The Igor people, centered in Xinjiang, are one of the most genetically diverse populations in East Asia. Igor DNA is roughly a 50-50 mix of East Asian and West Eurasian ancestry, including genes from Indo-Iranians, Persians, Turks and Mongols. This blend includes variants linked to lighter pigmentation, making hazel, green or even blue eyes more common among Uyghurs than in Han Chinese populations. Similarly, Kazakh communities in northwestern China share ancestry with Turkic and Central Asian steppe groups. These populations historically had a mix of traits and hazel eyes are occasionally seen, especially in regions where Slavic or European bloodlines entered through trade or migration. In the Tibetan plateau, while dark eyes dominate, small groups with historical ties to Central Asia and northern India have passed on pigmentation variation over centuries. Likewise, ethnic groups in Yunnan, like the Bai or Naxi, show hints of South Asian admixture, occasionally resulting in lighter or mixed eye colors. These minority communities act as living genetic bridges, preserving traits that might be lost in larger populations. When hazel eyes appear, especially among these groups, they are a direct reflection of China's complex human tapestry, woven from ancient steppe, mountain, desert and trade line ancestry. Hazel eyes remain extremely rare in China overall, but they do appear, and not by coincidence. You're most likely to see hazel eyes in northwestern China, especially in regions like Xinjiang, where populations like the Uyghurs and Kazakhs carry Central Asian and West Eurasian DNA. In these areas, hazel eyes are still uncommon, but not surprising. In southwestern China, provinces like Yunnan, Sichuan and Guangxi also have higher chances of unusual eye colors due to the diverse ancestry of ethnic groups like the Bai, Dai, and Naxi. Occasional hazel eyes may appear here, especially in families with mixed heritage from India, Myanmar, or Southeast Asia. In China's major cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Chengdu, and Guangzhou, you might occasionally see hazel eyes due to intermarriage, immigration, or Eurasian descent. As China becomes more connected globally, more people with mixed ancestry are being born with rare traits like hazel eyes, sometimes even surprising their own parents. Still, hazel eyes in China are a visual outlier. In traditional Chinese culture, dark brown or black eyes have long been considered the norm, and for good reason. Ancient poetry, paintings and literature rarely mention variations in eye color, because lighter or mixed tones like hazel were so rare that they held little cultural space. But in modern times, especially with globalization and media influence, that perception has shifted. Eye color has become part of a broader conversation about diversity, beauty, and identity. Hazel eyes, in particular, are now often seen as striking or exotic, especially when paired with typically East Asian features. They're highlighted in pop culture, modeling, and film as symbols of uniqueness. In Chinese cinema and TV, actors with hazel or lighter eyes are often cast in fantasy or historical roles, adding a mystical or royal air to the character. Some Chinese celebrities of mixed descent, including Eurasian models and influencers, have helped make hazel eyes more visible and desirable in the public eye. Among everyday people, hazel eyes may spark curiosity, admiration, or questions about ancestry. Ultimately, hazel eyes in Chinese society symbolize more than beauty. And for many, they serve as a subtle living reminder that no culture is genetically uniform, no matter how it may appear. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Chinese DNA and the mystery of hazel eyes, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Hazel eyes in China may be rare, but they're never random. They're living proof of ancient trade routes, Silk Road exchanges, frontier diversity, and the deep roots of genetic mixing across Asia. From desert oases to mountain villages, hazel eyes are a quiet reflection of everything China has absorbed over thousands of years. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes and Chinese roots, drop a comment. I'd love to hear you.